month of February. Today I wanted to show you all the things that I have been especially loving. The first two products are from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation and the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. These two products, especially used together, are just phenomenal. The powder does not give you that cakey look. It's really, really lightweight, like it says. Same with the concealer. The formula of these two things are absolutely amazing. I love this just as much as my Tarte Powder Foundation. And yeah, I highly recommend these two things. I have both of mine in the shade Light Warm. And yes, using it, I've been using it every single day. Next, I wanna talk about an illuminator. This is from NYX. This is an enigmatic. It is a very, very pretty pinky sheen type of blush or blush topper if you wanna wear it more as a highlight. This is very similar to the Cindy Luminizer by The Bomb, except an excellent alternative. So make sure you pick this up at Target before it goes away. Just gives you the most beautiful glowing from within look and it is just beautiful. Next is a foundation, and this is from the drugstore. This is by Rimmel, and this is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. Like, whoa. I don't know if it actually would stay on for 25 hours. I don't know anyone who would want to leave their makeup on for 25 hours, but it is a really, really nice, easy to wear foundation. I love that it has that serum quality to it because I am on the drier side. I also feel like this is just my perfect shade. It's not the very lightest one. I think it's the second lightest. And yeah, this is so affordable. Such a great foundation. Definitely recommend it. Next is my favorite eyeshadow palette of the moment. I cannot stop using it. This is from Stila. This is the Nouveau Natural Eyeshadow Palette. And look at this palette. It is just perfect. It has the perfect mix of neutrals that are mainly warm, a few cool tones, but what I mostly love about this palette is that of the 12 eyeshadows, eight of them are matte, and I'm a huge matte eyeshadow fan, and so that comes in super, super handy because most eyeshadow palettes have mainly shimmery eyeshadows rather than matte, so I have just been loving this. It um, just came out recently, I believe. It's not the same as the other ones that they came out with, I think around like last year, a few months ago, so this one's brand new and love it. Next is something that a lot of people on YouTube have been talking about, and this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I love this. I like it more than my Anastasia Contour Kit. I just think it, the texture of the formulas, oh, it's just, it, they're so powdery, they're so beautiful. The shades that they chose are perfect. I particularly love this middle shade to set my um, concealer under my eyes. And even like this one right here, that seems a little bit scary for someone of my skin tone, but like putting it in the very back part of your cheek for that like super contoured look works. And also these are so beautiful and creamy, they work well as eyeshadows. So I've been loving this palette. I wasn't going to pick it up because I was like, okay, it's, Everybody's obsessed with the contouring thing. I didn't want to give into it, but I did, and I'm glad I did. Next is a mascara. This is the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara from Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty is the line by Drew Barrymore. It's only sold at Walmart, I believe, and it is extremely affordable, and this mascara is phenomenal. It has a interesting wand on it where if you like click it, up right here or twist it, it changes the shape of it. You can see it kind of going up and down like that. I haven't really been doing that. I've just been using it as it is, but I have been absolutely loving it. If you need a mascara, try this one out. I think it's like five bucks. I don't really know, but it's just a really, really great formula and like great work, Drew Barrymore. My favorite eyebrow product has been the NYX Eyebrow Gel. I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel at all before, but this is excellent. It is truly waterproof, and if you have an issue with you know, your eyebrow product maybe not staying in as long as you'd like, I would highly recommend this. I have mine in the shade Chocolate, and it is just a really, really unique product. It is not as liquidy as you might think because it comes in like this little squeezy tube, but it is so nice. Speaking of eyebrows, another one of my favorite products has been from Ica, Ica, has been from Ico. This is the Defining Brush Tinted Brow Gel. This is the best brow gel that I have tried and used. What I love about it is that it comes with a tiny little wand like this, 
and it is just a really nice kind of neutral ashy brown color, but it's not super pigmented. So it's nice to use on days if you just want to get your eyebrows, get your eyebrows in place and have a little bit of extra color pigmentation added. And it's also nice when you're doing a full out makeup look to set the brows in place. It is so good, but it doesn't make your eyebrows crunchy. Um, Ipo comes onto Hope Look, the flash sale website occasionally. So definitely wait for it to come on there because you can get this at a super discounted price and it's Ico, they do brows right. Okay, next are some ColourPop Cosmetics lippy sticks and lippy pencils. I just have these two right here. I have Lumiere and Frida. Frida is the one that was made by Coffee Break with Danny here on YouTube and Lu Lumiere was the one that Kathleen Lights paired up to do with them. Both YouTubers that I love to watch, but honestly the reason I got these two is because I truly like the colors of them. The first one, Lumiere, it's just a really, really pretty mauve plummy, mid-tone color, and it's a matte finish, and it is just so beautiful for kind of a dressed up night. This is what I have on my lips today, and it is a dupe for the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. It is so unique, and I love it, and I also love the one from Coffee Break with Danny. This is in Frida, and you can see here this one is a little bit more of like a peachy pink tone. So this is more suitable for everyday wear, and this one also has a satin finish, I believe. So this is kind of what I throw in my purse to take with me, but both amazing. I love ColourPop Cosmetics from what I've tried so far. I think it's a really affordable, great brand. You do have to order it online, but yeah, loving those two colors. I think they are just great. I have a couple hair care products I want to talk about. The first is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This deep conditioner is phenomenal. I have really, really damaged dry hair. I always have, and this has helped my hair so, so much. I don't know if I've mentioned this before on my channel, but it is so, so good. I use it almost just as a regular conditioner, and I've noticed such an improvement in my hair makes your hair feel like silk after. It is on the pricier side, but it is from the drugstore and I swear by it, it is worth every penny. Next is a blow dry spray. This is from Kenra. I got this in the States back in December. I got it at Ulta. So I don't know if you can get it in Canada. If you know where they sell Kenra, pro Kenra products, please leave a comment down below because I'm gonna be so sad when I run out of this. This is a blow dry spray and it is a thermal protectant. But the part that I love about it is that it truly speeds up the drying time when you're blow drying your hair. I try to avoid blow drying my hair as much as I can, but of course there are situations you just can't avoid it. And spraying this in my hair, it actually, I don't, I don't know how it does it, I don't know, but it really does speed up the time it takes for your hair to get completely dry, so I love that. And it also leaves my hair feeling really silky and soft. So this is an amazing product, I need to get more of it. Please let me know if you know where to buy this. So those are all my favorites for the month of February. I hope you guys had a great month. I am so looking forward to spring. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products are from the month of February. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye. Everything that I'm... Oh, my favorite... It's uh, good. I have mine in light warm and light warm also. Okay. So I have been loving tons of stuff, so let's get into it. Let's get right started. As my sister pointed out, I always say, and it sounds very strange. Where is actually. Hello? In today's video are all the products that I've been loving in February. I have some makeup, some skincare. No, I don't. What? Now, if you like a more sheer to medium coverage and you just kind of want something quick and all over, this is the type of brush I would recommend for that. Unlike these ones that have a very, very 